Hi, this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge Varsity. In one of the video, we saw that we can create, a, we can find out the correlation coefficient using the function, inbuilt function that is there in our Excel. Okay. Now, what uh, Excel provides us uh, with a unique uh, tool that is a data analysis tool, and we can use Excel data analysis tool pack to find out the correlation. Okay, so just we, if you see that data analysis tool pack is situated in this data. Okay, so if you click on this data, you will find that there is a data analysis. Okay, if I click this data analysis, you will see a whole lot of data analysis tool for us. Okay, what is important for us to find out the correlation? So I will click on the correlation over here. Okay, and I will click OK. So once I have done this, it is asking for what is the input range. Okay, so the input range you have to uh, mention the returns again. Note that you cannot mention the Nifty values or the gold values. These these are the values. Okay, you cannot put these values over here. Okay, you have to mention the return which we have computed ourselves. Right. So what we are required is to put the input range as the values of the return. So if I select this. Okay, what I will do is just I will remove this and then we want to select. So you have to select. Let's say if I want to compute only the correlation coefficient between the Nifty and the Gold. Okay, so I will select only these two data. Okay, uh, the range and then they are asking what where the output should be. The output either you can specify the output range over here and it will write, or you can mention a new worksheet. Or you can mention a new workbook. So let's see output range. If you want it within this sheet, new worksheet will create a new worksheet in the same Excel sheet, and a new workbook option would create a new workbook entirely, right? And sometimes what happens is you have labels in the first row. Example over here is we did not have this first. The, when we selected this data, we selected only this data. Okay, and we did not have the first row as the label. Okay, many times you have first row as these labels. Okay, so when you have the first row as those labels, you have to check this box. Okay, otherwise you will if the if you do not check this box, okay, they will ignore. Uh, they will uh, give you wrong correlation. Okay, just please uh, pay attention to that. Okay, and then I will. Press OK. So what I I see over here is they have given the column one, column two, and I know that column one is my Nifty because I did not specify any column value. So this is Nifty and this is Gold. Okay, and as uh, expected, the correlation of Nifty and Nifty has to be one. So here it is trying to give you the correlation of Nifty versus Nifty, which is one, and this is a correlation between Gold and Nifty. So what you have over here is the correlation coefficient between Nifty and Gold is 0.20263, 0.20623. Now what you see is like there is nothing mentioned over here. Okay, it implies that whatever the value you have over here, it is equal to the same value. So this value and this value will be equal because the correlation of Gold and Nifty is same as Nifty and Gold. And please note that this. Two values are actually not useful. Even if you do not have this value, it is uh, it, you know that the correlation of Nifty and Nifty and Gold and Gold will be equal to one. So only data that is important for us is this value. By the way, this uh, diagram it is known as correlation matrix. Okay, so it's a matrix wherein you have different correlation values are given. Right now, let us see over here our. Uh, I think yeah, sorry. This was our data set. If we go to our data set and we want to find out a correlation matrix, please note that this correlation matrix was very useful. Okay, in the case, in the sense that this correlation matrix it gave us a lot of thing, right? So if you see this correlation matrix, you can uh, have between gold and Nifty as of now only one values, but the Excel is equipped to provide you with more and more powerful thing. So let us see over here. We again go to data analysis. We again go to correlation, and we select instead of the input range over this. I would want to include the G also. So if I select this, it means that I have selected from E4 to G15. So if you see over here, okay, I actually want to select from E4 to G19. Sorry, right? So that means the entire thing is selected, okay. And I again I want to uh, to uh, give in the new worksheet. 
and I will press OK. So what we see over here is they are giving you, let's say this is the Nifty. This I know is gold and this I know is silver. Okay. So what you have over here is now the values of this is the correlation matrix that is given to you. Now even if these three values are not there, it is not a problem to us. So I can remove this. Okay. So this gives you what is the correlation of Nifty and gold. So the value that is there is Nifty and gold correlation. Nifty and silver correlation value is given over here. So this value, whatever is it, it will come over here, the same value, Nifty and gold correlation. Nifty and silver correlation, whatever is this, it will come over here. Okay. And the gold and silver, so this is a gold versus silver. So gold versus silver, you will find that this value will come over here. And I know that all this value will be one. So in a correlation matrix, only these three are required. So you will see that the value that we have over here will is exactly the same the value that we have computed on uh, by our mean, right? So 20623, 20623, 55939, 55939 or 85. And then we saw this one is 49279. So we had computed 49279. So whatever you are getting here, you have got from the data analysis tool pack. So it makes us it makes much simpler to use the data analysis tool pack rather than computing using this method, right? So this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge University. Hope you like the video. Thanks for attending.